Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Recently, I added one playlist on our YouTube channel based on CCNA routing and switching. And in this playlist, I have already uploaded 10 plus video and today's agenda. And in this class, I am going to guide you about how to configure Cisco switches. If you really want to present yourself as a Cisco certified engineer, you must need to know about how to configure Cisco devices. Not only the switch, you also need to know about the how to configure Cisco router, firewall, Cisco wireless devices like as a access point and you also need to know about how to configure L2 and L3 switches. Right. So, in this class, I am going to guide you about like you know that to buy uh, Cisco devices which is really costly. So, how you can manage the practical. Although I'll give you the proper practical on our physical switch or you can say that original Cisco switch, but for the practice purpose, you need to download one simulator on your desktop or laptop that you are using and uh, configure your account, sign up yourself over a Cisco learning portal and uh, you can start using Cisco Packet Tracer. So let me guide you about the basic understanding of uh, Cisco switches and after that we'll show you how we can download Cisco Packet Tracer and how many options are available in Cisco Packet Tracer tool. So let me move ourselves to the desktop screen and first of all we'll guide you about different types of switches that we have and also we'll discuss about the procedure how we can download Cisco Packet Tracer for the practical. I hope you guys are able to see my screen and let's talk about the switch first. So you know that Cisco can give us a two different types of switch like as I'm talking about L2 and L3 because each and every organization nowadays each and every organization must need to use configurable switch right. You can say that manageable switch where we can manage all the protocols or all the services that contain contained by the iOS. So basically. Cisco can give us a two different types of switch. One is L2 and another is L3. As per the name suggests, the meaning of uh, L2 switch that work on the layer 2 which is data link layer and the second L3 if we talk about the L3 switch in our uh, OSI model so yes it will work over a network layer. Now, which is categorized in two different part L2 and L3 and let's talk about what are the features basically contained by L2 switch and what are the additional option or features you will get in our L3 switch. So as per the name such as configurable switch always by using this particular switch uh, you can say that contain IOS internet work operating system. Second, we are able to configure switch. In case of configure switch, we are able to like manage name or you can say that host name or switch name and we can also apply password. Right? This activity we can perform with the L2 switch and if we talk about the additional features that contained by L2, so we are able to configure VLAN, we can establish uh, uh, DHCP, we are able to configure VLAN trunking port blocking like you are able to find routing table right so these all information you are able to find in our l2 switch let's talk about the another important uh, type of switch like i'm talking about the l3 switch as per the name suggests it will work over a layer 3 means network layer these all activity you can perform with L3 switch as well but if we talk about the additional uh, features of our additional uh, protocols that contain by the L3 switch so you can say that it can work like as a router that contain RIP and RIP version 2 these two protocols basically contained by L3 switch. OSPF you are able to find OSPF protocol who responsible to provide communication between two different branches like you establish your organization in different different geographical location you are trying to make communication between both the branches then OSPF protocol can help us means both branches must contain their own uh, L3 switch or router and 
with the help of this particular protocol we can make communication between the resources of one branch to another branch right so you can also say that it work like as a failover failover in the sense like if any problem occurred with our cisco router means our cisco router is not working fine maybe hardware issue maybe network issue maybe the operating system issue so in this case for temporary basis we can utilize our l3 switch as a uh, cisco router that is why this is the actual gap this is the actual gap between l2 and l3 switch i hope you guys are able to understand about the actual difference between l2 and l3 switch all right so everything is okay our responsibility to understand about how it's look like i'm talking about the configuration page because most of cisco devices like as a switch router or firewall you have to configure with the help of cli but nowadays some of firewall that you can configure directly with the help of graphical user interface no need to execute command but if we talk about the cisco router and switches still we are able to configure these devices with the help of command line interface it means that you need to know about which command can help us to block the port which command we need to utilize use to configure vlan or dscp so i'll guide you properly each and every command will help you to understand about the work of this command and also will give you the live demonstration with the help of physical original cisco switch but now in this class as per the agenda that we discuss i'm going to guide you how you can download the uh, simulator i'm talking about the cisco packet tracer because the cisco packet tracer can help us to set up our virtual lab and definitely the commands that i'm going to execute in our cisco packet tracer same command we need to execute on our original router as well our original switches very simple step uh, steps required to download uh, cisco packet tracer you just need to open any browser and type download cisco packet tracer right you just need to download cisco packet tracer multiple links we are able to find so you just need to open third link it will redirect you on another website and by using this particular website we are able to download cisco packet tracer the latest version of cisco packet tracer download cisco packet tracer for windows 10 i'm going to open this uh, yeah website and see we are able to find 8.2 2.1 8.2.2 the latest version of uh, cisco packet tracer simulator i'm just going to click here and uh, yes downloading is started the capacity of cisco packet tracer is approximately 228 mb so you can easily download but i wanted to add one more part like as a uh, nowadays if you are going to download cisco packet tracer it's mandatory you need to sign up yourself over cisco academy because uh, the the cisco packet tracer is directly connected with the back end data center means the cisco packet tracer nowadays is on cloud so it's mandatory you need to sign up yourself to not to download but yes to use the feature of cisco packet tracer is mandatory to to sign up yourself let me show you because i have already downloaded cisco packet tracer in my windows computer so let me show you how we can use this particular simulator to manage our all practicals related to ccna routing and switching
okay so i have already downloaded this particular tool so let me directly show you uh, like how we can utilize this uh, particular tool but slow sorry for that i'm um, will resolve it i need to format this machine okay so you, you just need to open this is the cisco packet tracer that i have already uh, installed in my windows computer and once we open we'll show you how it work mandatory to sign in yourself like i have already signed up so i'm going to use same user id and password to log in our cisco packet tracer application and your machine must be connected with internet because they are connected directly connected with the data center of our cisco in the back end this is our cisco packet tracer it's look like an n number of features contained by this simulator means you are able to perform all the tasks that you want to establish in real environment so this is really good tool if you really want to become a ccna certified engineer then definitely you must need to download and understand and execute the command on daily basis so what i'm going to do th let me guide you about uh, the the tools which are available this is the panel where we can find router and switches computer network uh, devices like led and uh, like broadband connection this is part of cable data sharing for folders right wireless or wan communication multi user communication so i'm going to add one switch the switch that we have this is these all are the switches 2960 and 3560 3650 uh, 9550 24 ports so basically you need to know about the gap between 2950 or 2960 and 3650 the 3650 or 3560 uh, 3560 these model are basically l3 switches and if we talk about 2960 it is a l2 switch So first of all I'm going to start my setup with L2 switch and after that we'll also discuss about how to set up and configure the features related to the L3 switches. Let me add few machines as well. Let me add some PC, one computer. As it is two or three machines I'm just going to add in our network and after that we'll make a communication with the help of uh, default network cable. Right? so three different computers i'm going to add one more machine right so these computers are directly connected to the switch just need to click on cable select switch and connect with our device again actually i'm using rdp of our windows computer so that's why i'm able to use the uh control key otherwise you just need to press con uh, control and on single click we are able to assign the communication to all the devices we successfully connected all the machines and you just need to double click on our switch it will give you multiple information physical configuration cli and attributes so in case of physical if you are going to zoom in it will give you the information like as a physical switch how it's look like multiple ports are available the switch that i selected it is 24 port switch catalyst 2960 two different ports we are able to find consider as a fast ethernet port and this fast ethernet port or gigabit port can help us to configure ip address to directly our switch one console port is also available like uh, without console port you know that we are not able to configure the switch so one console port and two fast ethernet port uh, ports are available go to the cli and it's look like this switch and you must need to enable en to activate our switch uh, uh, terminal page and then you can execute the command like conf space t to open the configuration page now you want to change the name of your switch host name then type the name of your switch so as it is n number of commands we need to execute 
to manage and configure our switches so this is the first day please try to download your uh, packet tracer and sign up yourself with the directory cisco and in next class i'll guide you about the command how we can configure password username or uh, password username switch name and vlan services i hope you guys are able to understand about the points that we discuss in today's session we'll connect soon in next class and discuss more about take care guys and bye bye do subscribe here on teach me cloud youtube channel bye guys